Okay, I may have done the most drastic MacBook upgrade of anybody else out there. If you've done a bigger upgrade than this, let me know. Yesterday, full-time content creator was using a 2014 MacBook Pro. This thing has worked very, very well for me for years. I've been editing with Premiere Pro on this machine, but here's the thing. With this machine here, I couldn't edit 4K videos without using proxy files. I also couldn't have playback be at full. I had to have it at half or a quarter depending on how many layers I had. And I couldn't have my pause resolution at full. I always had it at half. In order for me to have decent quality playback and be able to get through an editing process on this 2014 MacBook Pro. And I took a three minute video with very simple layers. Have you seen anything this simple lately in any one of your edits? Pretty easy, right? I exported it and it took 10 minutes to export. Not only did it take 10 minutes, but as soon as you start exporting, the fan on this thing starts blowing crazy and it starts overheating. Which is why I used to keep it on top of one of these fans. So while I was editing, especially exporting, I would have to keep a fan on like this blowing to keep it cooled down. So I tried to upgrade my Premiere Pro and I couldn't because this Mac only supports up to Mac 11.7 and I had to upgrade to 12.0 in order to upgrade my Premiere Pro. So I had to get a new computer. So instead of going from an old 2014 to maybe getting the M1 chip, which would be a huge upgrade, I skipped right through the M1 series of chips. The M2 chips came out, they weren't that much more powerful than the M1s, but I skipped through all the layers of the M2 chips and went right to the M3 chip. Not only did I go to the M3 chip, but I went to the M3 Max which is completely maxed out. So I went from a four core CPU to a 16 core CPU, a 40 core GPU, 48 gigabytes of unified memory, which is essentially the old SSD memory, and one terabyte of storage. Now I use backup hard drives, so storage to me isn't that big of a deal, but holy upgrade, Batman. That might be the biggest upgrade in history. Now I did that exact same video with this laptop, that same three minute video with the simple edits, nothing crazy, right? The old laptop took me 10 minutes to export it. This one did it in about 45 seconds. That's right, 10 minute exports, fans going nuts, super loud, all the way to a 45 second export on the very same video edit. That is crazy. This will increase my speed unbelievably dramatically. It will allow me to use 4K and even 6K footage, and I'll probably be able to have the playback on those be full quality with no problem, but I'm gonna do some tests with it. So if you wanna see how those tests go, subscribe and stick around here because I'm gonna be putting a lot more about this machine up here on this channel. So if if you have a crazier upgrade than I do from a 2014 to a 2023 M3 Max, let me know in the comments because I think this might be the craziest upgrade I've seen in a long time.